Hey, how's it going? Hello, I'm Amanda, as, as they said from a Guide for Moms is my site, Crazy Amanda Reacts on YouTube, and it is a pleasure to talk to you today. That's my pleasure, my pleasure. <laughs> so we can start by talking about why you're here, right, the, the million <laughs> stories. Um, I want to know, you know, why, you know, what, why did you become involved in the project and, you know, why did you feel that was important to be involved in it? Yeah. You know, a, a good friend of mine who was actually involved with the making of the Faceplant uh, series uh, was at DreamWorks Animation at the time that I was working on Rise of the Guardians. And we worked together pretty closely. So we kind of went through the same the same war together. Okay. And, uh, when he suggested that it might be a good idea to share the experience, mm -hmm. I thought, yeah, it actually would be because it was such a, it was a big thing in my life. You know, it was a, it was a huge uh a huge moment and uh, it just seemed to fit in so perfectly well with the uh, the theme of the series that it felt right to share it with other people. Yeah and so the part you mentioned the uh, face plant is actually the part about you know failures and overcoming mm -hmm. them and things and so what is right. the biggest lesson that you've learned from your failures? I think uh, you know and, and I want to say you know it's uh, my failures, they're, they're, <laughs> while they felt big to me at the time, the, the, you know, the setbacks weren't as big as people who have like actual tragedy or like, you know, real, real things that, you know, in life that, that are, you know, illness or anything like that. Mm -hmm. uh, this was a movie not performing up to expectations. But for me, it was also, you know, it was a dream that I'd had for, you know, decades to be able to do it. And I, you know, got the shot and everything was going great. And when the movie gets released out into the world, it just doesn't go the way that everybody was thinking it was going to go. Mm -hmm. So it was, uh, I would say the the biggest thing that I came away with was that, well, yeah, it didn't go right. And I had been working toward it for years and years, but you know, the world didn't really come to an end. You know, I, I did my best. The people that I worked with, we all did our best. You know, sometimes things just don't work out. And it's not always only because of you. Mm -hmm. So you can't, uh, j just as nobody's, typically nobody's responsible for every facet of their success. It's the same thing when things don't work out. You know, sometimes yeah. life just does that. And you have to, you just have to kind of realize that and, and find enough in you to keep moving on after that. So jumping into your work kind of mm -hmm. help get, get you through the times. Right? Yeah, right, right, definitely. <laughs> well, uh, in the series you mentioned, you know, it was also worrisome, right? You, you were worried about the future of your career and probably ah. a lot of pressure on you. And then fast forward, you know, to into the Spider Verse. I mean, huge success, yeah. right? Huge. Yeah. How has that pressure changed? You know, after rise of the. I mean, I'm sure you had pressures, worrying about you know mm -hmm. where do future holds, but and then having this huge success, is it more pressure? Is it more pressure to create something great, or is it kind of just like let me just sit back and just bask in this glory? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's, it's, it's one of those things, you know, if you sit back and bask too long, people are going to forget you're there while yeah. you're basking. You know? That's true. You can't really do that for too long. Uh, if, if there's any pressure, it's that, you know, uh, that movie meant so much to so many people, you know, it really seemed to like strike a chord. And uh, yeah, the pressure would be in, you know, people thinking that you have to, you know, can you top that? Or can you do something that's just as amazing? Or... And, and in a way, it's a good problem to have because that's exactly the kind of story and the kind of, you know, movie that I would like to be associated with. So, mm -hmm. you know, if everything goes right, I'll, you know, yeah, I, I can do it again. I'll make more or whatever. <laughs> but uh, I, I think, again, that's a case of not, uh, not getting stuck in the trap of thinking that you have to do the same thing over and over and over. Having enough faith in yourself that, well, you know, I got to the place where I could be a part of that. I have to believe that whatever I'm doing, if I keep doing it right, it can lead me to something else good. It might not be exactly the same, you know, it might be something totally different, but to think that you have to try to replicate what you did before, to me, especially when you're thinking about, you know, creative work, 
Mm -hmm. uh, that's kind of a sure, a sure sign of uh, going down the wrong path. Well, you mentioned, you know, how it meant that movie meant so much to people. And mm. one of the things that stuck out to me, it was one of the first movies that came along after the death of Stan Lee, right? Yeah. And, and one of the first that he, I think, was it Deadpool might have been one, his mm -hmm. first cameo, but you were one of the first cameos to, you know, that he was in after his death. And, and probably, you know, maybe I'm biased, <laughs> but I thought it was probably one of the greatest cameos that he has been in and one of the most powerful cameos oh you're freezing for me i don't know is yeah, it all right on your end? Oh, okay <laughs> i didn't know how much you heard of that then well yeah. I, I was just saying that cameo was probably the greatest cameo in my opinion that he's he has had and oh, yeah. powerful you know right right and it really helped a lot of his fans i think at that time grieve and mourn him and get over it you know yeah. so that just got me you know thinking with everything going on in the world now you know the mm. pandemic the black lives matter mm. you know um have you thought about how you really other ways you really want to add your voice to help people that are struggling during these dark times and you know we, mm. we depend a lot on the arts to get through this so that's right i mean absolutely yeah. I, I think uh uh, you know, one of, one of the big problems is that with a lot of these things, everything seems so overwhelming and pe people feel alone and they feel isolated, you know, and they, they think that there's no, uh, they think there's, there's, that there's no solution because they feel like they, they have to do everything on their own, mm -hmm. you know, that there's, there's not a shared vision of like a better future or, or more possibilities. And I think one of the, one of the reasons that Spider-Verse touched a lot of people the way it did was that it told you that even when you feel that way and even when you feel that nobody's going through what you are and you're completely alone there are other people out there who are feeling the exact same way as you do and it's all about connecting and coming together with other people instead of constantly you know jockeying for power or, or trying to outdo or prove yourself to somebody else on their terms it's kind of about being who you being who you are and counting on the fact that there are other people that are, that feel just that same way inside. So yeah, if there's, if there's any way that, you know, I could do things to, to sort of remind people that connection is the way to go. You know, it's like, there's, you gotta, you have to have just enough, just enough faith in other people that you know that there are people out there who are the same as you to connect with and, and that can make things better. I agree. <laughs> Trying not, I was like, I was like, that was a hard one for me when he passed. So it was, it was an yeah, emotional time, yeah. I think. <laughs> Very tough. So um, when you are watching yourself or watching your work on, on the big screen, are, are you critical of yourself? Do you, oh. do you look at it and do you, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that a yes? <laughs> I'm so, I'm so bad about it. My wife is always on my case to, you should watch it. It's good. You should watch it again. And I'm like, oh, I can't. You know, when you work on one of these movies, you've seen it so many thousands yeah. of times that after it's done, one of the last things you usually want to do is uh -huh. like watch it again because it just puts you back. Oh no, I'm, when is lunch? I'm back in my work mode. I, I got to get away from this. And uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's not something I do often, but mm -hmm. I'll, if it happens to be on, if somebody else is watching it or, you know, uh, it, it, sometimes, yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll snap back to the day when we were working on that shot and I'll go, Oh, I knew it should have been brighter or, Oh, why did we leave that line in? We had another better, that, another take that I like better, you know, stuff like that pops up all the time. And sometimes I go, Oh, that was pretty cool. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That was, that was pretty much the way I hoped it would be. That's great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. I just got the ping. I have one last question and of course it has to be, Mm -hmm. What is going to be next for you, right? I mean, like after Ooh. the success, I, I saw that you were um, signed on for Love in Vain, you know, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. I know, but are we going to see a lot more animation your way or? 
Yes. Um, yeah. If everybody, if everything works out right, uh, knock on wood, that, that mm-hmm. there will be some of both, you know, more, more animation and more live action. There, there's actually a few, uh, there's actually several animated projects I'm involved with okay. kind of on a more executive producing or consultant kind of role. Mm-hmm. So I'm working with a lot of like amazingly talented people on some really cool stuff. And then there's some uh, 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 more, uh, there's, yeah, but there's more dirt, directing stuff as far as animation but then there's live action projects that i'm also trying to uh, get off the ground too so uh yeah there's a lot of pots on the stove but it's it's pretty exciting well i can't wait to see and it's definitely been an honor to talk to you oh come on <laughs> honor is all mine thank you very much <laughs> thank you